All right, so um, people, some people ask me why is it that anarchism can't be statist? Well, for the most part, anarchism can't be statist. Ninety-nine percent of it can't be statist. One hundred percent in this era. Maybe in the future that will fluctuate, but one hundred percent of the time in this six thousand year old era, whenever there's a state. Anarchism can't happen. It doesn't work. People don't get that um, hierarchy, organizational structure, or government that they desire, that they voluntarily chose, they un universally agreed upon. They don't get that. Because of the state, it gets in the way. I mean, now we have the um, United States state capitalism, and it gets in the way of free market capitalism. Or in more extreme cases, with uh, let's see, what do we have right now? Uh, Cuba. I mean, they want communism, but what they get is state capitalism. Even before the era of state capitalism. In America, uh, that era, people wanted um, state collectivism. Well, no, they didn't. Um, there, it was sort of state collectivist esque, except it wasn't. That was just how the society was organized. What was actually going on was that there was this um, caste system, the state caste system, and that sucked. But it always gets in the way. States always get in the way of anarchy. States pull away that structure. They really fuck it up and shit. And that's why you need an era of anti-statism if you really want anarchy. And if you want liberty, then odds are you need anarchy. Because anarchy is the biggest uh, aspect. Voluntary association of these hierarchies and organizations and governments and various institutions. That's what's strived for. That's what's looked upon as the biggest essence for liberty. Regardless if you're um, a natural rights libertarian, libertarian socialist, or free market libertarian like me.